So, good morning and good afternoon, good evening, good everywhere, wherever you are. It's day seven of the um, Mindfulness Challenge. Um, just to give you a bit of an update here, you can probably tell that I am a little bit more jovial today than what I was yesterday. Um, and the reason for that is my wife seems to have picked up. Now, um, what we do know, if we do have the coronavirus, is that unfortunately there seems to be a spike of, I feel all right now, before you hit another uh, depth but hopefully, you know, I think we've been having this now, you know, a flu type thing and feeling really terrible for about two weeks. Um, if I, My back is killing me and when I move my eyes, oh my God, my eyes kill. Um, but, you know, we, we keep going and, and, you know, she was well enough to go out with a dog this morning, which like two days ago would have been unheard of. So um, first of all, first and foremost, thank you very much for all of the happiness and health and healing and love and support that you've shown for me and my family, it really means the world and I really do appreciate it. So although this is a 14 day mindfulness challenge, it's a bit of a coronavirus blog as well, isn't it? Um, so one day we'll look back on this and, and hopefully all smile and, and, and realize that it was, it was the making of our planet. And again, I keep saying it, minimum loss is maximum impact. Today, what are we going to talk about today? We're halfway through. Um, we may continue doing it after the fifth 14 days, but again, that's not very mindful. Be in the moment. Don't worry about the future and don't dissect the past. We're going to talk about listening. Did you hear me? We're going to talk about listening. And we're going to talk about how the art of listening is, is pretty... <clears throat> And we need to understand the core principles of how we listen, okay? Because listening is is not just about being heard, all right? And what we're talking about here is mindfulness communication. So when you talk or when you listen, it's done a lot more mindfully. It's done a lot more thoughtfully. And hopefully it'll have a bigger impact. Do we really listen? Okay, when somebody says something, do we really listen? And if you think about generally, okay, it is um, a monologue of phases. So I talk, you talk, I talk, you talk, I talk, you talk, or in this instance, I'm just talking, okay? But how many of you now still are not listening? Because what you're doing is you're maybe making notes or you're thinking about what today is going to be about or, you know, or what's he going to say next? Or what's this? What's that? And actually, if we were in a conversation now, one of the things we do really badly is when I'm talking, you use that as a time to think about what you're going to say rather than what I'm actually saying. And we want to look at how um, the issues and the complaints people have in relationships and there's a lot of those things he doesn't listen to me she doesn't understand me um he won't do that for me she won't do this with me um he wouldn't say sorry i couldn't say and all of these things really are about communication but they're also about listening and the ability to be able to sit and listen and work with these relationships and actually you know listen with our heads our hearts and our body and we're doing a lot of um, loving kindness. And we're going to do loving kindness again today. It's something we need to continually do because we need to build that that happiness level, that love level, okay? And I want us to um, make contact and listen with our hearts and love our hearts and respect and love the hearts of others. And that's all about mindfulness communication. Mindfulness doesn't mean we have to be sitting here in peace and in complete control. And what does it really mean? Well, it means that we are open to every situation. Whatever happens to us, we are here, we are showing up, we are present. We are not anymore trapped in hope or trapped in fear. That's not mindful. What's going to happen is we know when something happens... We can breathe it, we can accept it, we can acknowledge it, and we can show up, okay? Even in the toughest things that happen to us in our lives, we will show up. We understand emotion now, we understand stress, we understand our reactions to it. Now what I want us to do is understand and listen to everything so we can have this mindful communication. 
okay? We are not trapped anymore in hope going forward or fear or in the present or going backwards. And we're going to be, as we said before, working on being in the moment. And as I said, communication is on times sequential monologues. You speak, I speak, you speak. And we struggle sometimes um, to say things. And it's weird, isn't it? You know, it's very easy to say something to somebody who you know and you care about. If you had to say that same thing to a stranger or a boss or somebody else, the space between you and the um, compassion and empathy and love is different. So we struggle to say the same things to different people. And what I want us to think about is, is a couple of things in terms of listening and communication. First of all, um, it's about timing, knowing when to speak and knowing when to be quiet and allowing that space between you and be the space between the person you're talking to, to be there. And don't be uncomfortable with the silences or the space and everything else. But understand that when you've said something, stop and listen. Think about the timing. It's knowing when to speak and when not to speak. We couldn't talk about listening and the practicalities of listening without actually talking about listening. Again, are we truly listening to me right here, right now? And as I said before, we use this time um, when people are talking to us to think about what we're going to say next. We need to give that person and the course or whoever's talking full attention. Be with them. Sit with them. Stop thinking about your thoughts and start thinking about my thoughts and what I'm saying and the impact that I'm saying is having on me not so much the impact that it's having on you and when we start a communication don't go in with an agenda drop the agenda just be curious have conversations listen be open you know I always say that I believe everything that everybody says to me I have an open mind but I take everything with a pinch of salt and some things I'm told, I need to take more salt. But I have this open mind. I don't say to anybody, that can't be true. No, that's not wrong. That's not. Because it's not where I am. Spiritually, I'm very open. I listen to people. I want to understand what people are saying. I'll then make my own decisions based on my experiences and my belief system. But I drop the agenda. And I'm open. And I'm curious. And finally... One of the tips about this is confidence. We all know we listen to somebody who we have confidence in. You're watching this now, you're on day seven. The only way you're on day seven is a couple of reasons. One, it's making a material um, impact on, on your everyday life. And two, you believe in me. You have the confidence in me, and I thank you very much for that, to be able to help you. That's why you're here. But how do I get that confidence? How do you generate that confidence? That confidence is generated. The reason I can sit here and talk confidently about this subject is because I understand who I am. I understand what I'm talking about and I understand the impact it can have and the results on people's lives. That's what brings my confidence is the understanding and the authenticity and the intimacy and depth of knowledge of the subject that I can talk confidently about. But that comes from understanding. And the only way you can understand something is first of all by understanding yourself. Where, When something happens to us, where does it sit with us? Some people, we can, we can, put, we can put something in front of somebody, they don't like it. You put exactly the same in front of somebody else, they like it. It's us, it's our own personal experiences. How does this feel? How does this sit with me? It's important. And we can build confidence through understanding ourselves, understanding our values, and then having the experiences based around those values, and learning based around those values, and listening based around our values. Okay? Now, mindfulness communication isn't about what we say. It's about who we are. It's about understanding who we are. Julian Jenkins today, I have a greater understanding of myself than I've ever had in my life. I see myself as somebody who is innately spiritual. I see myself as a teacher. And I see myself as a, as, as a friend and a partner. And, uh, and I wish a lover. No, uh, a partner. Um, and, a, and a number of things. Okay. But I understand who I am. 
And what I want us to do is understand the power of listening. We don't. It's one of these things, again, that we just take for granted. I want you to stop doing what you're doing now. Let's just stop for 10 seconds and stop and just breathe and just bring your awareness to your ears. And listen, go. So what could you hear then different that you couldn't hear before? My wife's got the radio on in the kitchen. I could just basically hear that. I can hear, um, I've got a light here somewhere, which just is a pretty light that I used to light things up. But um, I think that's making a noise. My phone over here is making a noise and I can hear some bits and pieces. But we need to sit and listen. We need to check in and listen. And um, the ability to listen without preconceived ideas and let the words wash over us, roll over us, be in the moment, be in the moment with those words and take them in and don't just respond to them, experience them, let those words sink in, stay present, be balanced, we can listen through our heads, our hearts and our bodies and from our head we try to listen to the content, you know, the story, the narrative gives us wisdom, our heart we listen you know, for the emotional side of things, which brings out compassion. And from the body, we listen to the present so we can cultivate the now, the here, because our body is always here in the moment. Our mind is here or here, but hopefully now here. Your body is always present. It doesn't need the past or the future. It just lives for this moment. And we can access our body and we can feel our body at any time. And then we can sit in and we can truly listen to our different hearing centers. It's about creating communicative and mindfulness balance. So the next time you're having a conversation with somebody, stop and listen. And don't use that time or space to think about what your response is. Let that person finish because the most important thing they were about to say to you is right at the end and you've missed it because you're waiting to come in. Timing, know when to talk, when not to talk. Confidence, don't have an agenda and listen properly. I hope that makes sense today. I hope you've listened to me. We're going to play the loving kindness now and then we'll come back and have a quick chat. Thanks very much for everything you do. Day seven, I hope you've enjoyed it. Now start listening. Thank you. So I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to put a nice image up. And I'm going to sound a bell for us to start. And all I want you to do now is focus on your breath. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathe it out. And just focus on where your breath is. Where do you feel it most? Is it through your nostrils? Is it on your t-shirt? Is it on your jumper? Where do you feel? Do you feel your, your belly moving in and out? Breathing in and breathing out. And to start this, we're going to offer loving kindness to ourselves. And I want you to focus on the intention of these words. And I want you to continually repeat these words. And if you have a thought that comes in, you welcome it, you love it, you let it go, and you come back to the mantra. So as we're breathing in, I want you to say these words. Breathing in, may I be safe. Breathing out. Breathing in, may I be happy. Breathing out. Breathing in, may I be healthy. Breathing out. Breathing in, may I live with ease. Breathing out. Repeat the mantra. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Continue that mantra as you're breathing in and you're breathing out. And if you have any thoughts that come in, you welcome them, you love them, you let them go, and you come back to your mantra. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. 
May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Welcome this beautiful love into your life. To be kind to yourself. To connect in with yourself. To love yourself. To heal yourself. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Now what I'd like you to do is just, with your eyes closed, choose someone in your life that you love. Or someone that inspires you. Someone you think about, who you're grateful for. And I want you to picture that person in your mind. And on this occasion, as you're breathing in, you say simply, May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. This is loving kindness for somebody else who is someone you love, someone inspires you. Put them in your mind, see them and set the intention of may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. And don't forget, if you have a thought, just let it welcome in. Hold it. Don't put any judgment on it, accept it, acknowledge it, let it go and come back to your mantra for this person that you love. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy. And may you live with ease. Now the focus, we're going to focus on someone you know who's having a difficult time at the moment. Maybe someone who's ill. And we're going to offer them kindness. So if there's somebody you know who is in self-isolation or isn't feeling very well at the moment. I want you to place there in your intention in your mind, with them in your mind. And you say again, may you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. And may you live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. This is somebody who you know who's having a difficult time at the moment, who may be ill. Set the intention of that person, put them in your mind's eye. And as you do, you say to yourself, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. And if you find your attention or your mind wanders, don't worry. Just love it, let it go. And return back to your phrases, your mantra. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. These mantras are now your anchor. May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. And what I'd like you to do is choose someone in your life that you might have difficulty with or have some tension with or have had an issue with or something hasn't sat right between the both of you for a little bit of time. This one can be difficult, but we set the attention and we put them in our mind's eye and we say to them in our mantra, breathing in and breathing out, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with ease. And again, if something, a thought comes in, I want you to 
allow it in, accept it, acknowledge it, put no judgment, love it and let it go and come back to your anchor, your mantra. For the person who you may have had difficulty with, have had an argument with, there's some tension between you. Set the attention, put them in your mind's eye and say, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy and may you live with ease. And if at any point you find that difficult, then you can just direct it back to yourself. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Now I'd like you at this moment to direct your loving kindness, your attention and your intention to all forms of life, people, animals, all beings, those people who need it most all over the world at this very difficult time. And I want you to say for them, may all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. Breathing in, and breathing out. And again, if you have any thoughts, you let them in, you let them go, and off you go. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. Breathing in and breathing out. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be live with ease. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. Take a deep breath in and as you do, I just want you to slowly just recenter yourself on the chair and get your sense of awareness and feel your twiggle your fingers or, or move your toes and come back into the room and open your eyes. So we're now on day seven. We're about to go into day eight. We've done emotions. We've done thinking. We've done listening. We've done all of these things and, and we're building and cultivating our loving kindness to a point where we're truly going to love ourselves. We can offer love to others and we can offer healing to others. It's a really special time. I appreciate your time. And don't forget, did you wake up this morning and say, good morning, Julian. I love you. Good morning, Julian. I love you. I hope you did. And I love you all too. And I really do appreciate you taking the time. Um, day eight tomorrow, we'll move on. Stay safe. Um, keep smiling and don't forget these videos you can watch them back over and over again it, it, it doesn't matter and and let's not you know again reach out to people today if you can let's build some oxytocin let's give somebody our love and help people and and help ourselves to help others as well so as always be love and give love it's been a pleasure speaking to you I look forward um to day eight stay safe take care god bless